I'm Chef Ellie Espo and welcome to another Cooking on the Block. Today we're going to make pie and it's easy as pie, trust me. We're going to do a delicious butternut squash pie, okay? And you can use the same ingredients like you make your pumpkin pie or you can use uh, acorn squash in replace of the pumpkin. So today, if you remember our last video, I had some leftover butternut squash and I threw it in the freezer. So I defrosted it last night and now I have it all ready to go for me. This is how easy this is going to be. So let's run down our ingredients. Of course, we have our delicious butternut squash all pureed and it's already um, weighed out. I have nice fresh eggs. I have um, heavy cream and my spices. I have whole nutmeg. I have the ground cinnamon ground ginger and then for our sweeteners instead of using white sugar I thought I would like to use some maple syrup grade A really nice maple syrup and I have blackstrap molasses so we're going to add I have some sea salt in the bowl and we're going to add our butternut squash to the bowl okay and we're going to mix Okay, I added the molasses, I added the maple syrup, and now I'm going to add my spices. So, I have nutmeg, and I like the fresh nutmeg. You grate it as you need it. It's a much nicer flavor. Okay, be generous. Okay, I have a teaspoon of ground ginger. I have a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Okay, tell me, how easy is this? Okay, we're going to mix that real nice. Now we're going to add our eggs. Okay. And I had them whisked first. There's nothing else in there but the eggs. And we're going to mix it nice and gentile. No splattering. You know, when you get pumpkin splatter all over your... It's not a good sight. And we're going to add our delicious cream. Now we need our whisk, so we've got to get some muscle in there, okay, we want it all incorporated. Once we get that all incorporated, we're going to pour it in our delicious pie shell. It's my mom's recipe, Annie Hackett, she made the best pies, her apple pie to die for. I'm making them today, where I work, millions of them, I like to have a dollar for every apple pie I've made. So this is looking real good and the smell is delicious. Now, I just want to taste the custard. That's very good. Okay, I'm going to pour it in our par shell. And we're going to throw this in the oven at a high temperature for 10 minutes. And then we're going to lower the temperature again to 350. And then we'll uh, continue to bake it for another 45 minutes just till it's set in the center. Okay? Okay, I have my butternut squash custard in my pie shell and I made some cute little um, uh, pie crust leaves out of a cookie cutter. Okay? And I'm just going to place them all around the edge. And when it bakes up, it might not have the true form it is now, but you get the idea. It will look really pretty. Let's place another one. Let's move this one down, and we'll get this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to place my pie in the oven, like I said, at 400 degrees for 10 minutes first. Then we're going to lower, and then continue to bake it for 45 minutes at 350. Okay, so um, in a few minutes, oh, in 45 minutes to an hour, this babe will be ready to eat. Okay, everyone, look at this beautiful pie. It's just came out of the oven and it did take about an hour to set up. All you want is the middle, the custard, will set up like a souffle almost, okay? And uh, you just test it by placing a knife and it should come out relatively clean. Um, you know, let it cool before you try to cut it and you can serve it with some nicely whipped cream flavored with a little maple syrup. Absolutely to die for. And um, I just want to make one note, make your life easy. Go to the grocery store, get the butternut squash already peeled, cut up in the package, get it home, you oil it up, put it in the, 
in the oven and roast it, then take it out, puree it, throw it in the freezer, and then you have it anytime you want to make this delicious pie. It's so easy. Um, you know, if you make little things a little bit easier for you, you'll tend to do it. So um, I, I urge you guys to try it. And um, I have one shout out. I made a new friend, Chef Jesse Jones. I met him at a contest. We uh, judged a cooking contest together. What a nice man. And uh, Jesse, I want to say congratulations to getting Chef of the Month from Hot 97. So from another hot chef, this is Chef Eliespo, and this is another Cooking on the Block. Ciao.